Many athletes grow up with their fathers in the stands and sometimes as their own coach, but few have the opportunity to be coached by their father at the college level, such as the Alexander duo on the Florida men's golf team. You know, at, at this age, uh, mine and his, uh, to be able to spend almost every day uh, with your kid is just an, an unbelievable reward. Although it is his father, there is no special treatment for the younger Alexander. He doesn't play favorites, and you know he treats me like everyone else. He probably yells at me even more sometimes, which you know I can handle. I probably goof off too much too, but it's not like he's giving me any breaks on the side or anything like that. So they get it, and it's you know we're all a team and stuff, so it all works. This year, Tyson followed in his father's footsteps by capturing the prestigious amateur title at the Azalea Invitational, a title that his father Buddy won in 1976. It was pretty neat, pretty special uh, to say that we both won it now. It's pretty cool. I don't, I don't think a father and son ever, ever did it. And uh, I beat him by seven too, which is kind of cool. But it was a great day in the Alexander family because it's, it is a big tournament. Uh, it is a pretty cool thing to have won a tournament that his dad won. And, uh, you know, it's, I, I hope it's, it's the first of, of many. The father-son combo is part of a great team here at Florida but there is still a competitive spirit between them, especially if asked who would win in a golf match. Me every time, 99%. I'll, get, I'll give him a percent, yeah, but he's too old. Um, his 99% of the time is way, way out of line. I'm not going with 99% of the time. Uh, a lot of it would have to do with the, the, the golf course and the elements and that sort of thing, but I will say this, He's clearly a better player than I am today, and thank God, because I'd hate to have me in my lineup. Having the opportunity to be around his father on a daily basis facilitated Tyson's decision to attend UF. But he's one of the best coaches in the country to begin with, and uh, it made it e even easier that, that he was my dad to, to come here at UF. He's, he's always had a lot of fight in him. Like I said, he's a pretty competitive guy, and uh, I, I don't think I've ever seen him give in or give up. Uh, so th those would be some things that a, that a coach would be happy about and a dad would be proud of. For Gator Zone, Abner Alexis.